Look at that smile. I think it like you. I know it ugly, hey. but it friend. It follow us here, but no attack. It need friend. What it say? I think it want to play. Or hungry. Maybe play with food like human? Okay, enough. Hello there. The original idea of this video was all locations to farm mini hawks, clean off area by area. But on the east part of the map there are only three locations of fixed spawns. So I have a better idea for you. Wait. Farm them in the abandoned bog town, especially when a real blast is up. But of course my video is not only about that, though it is a major part. Well, just watch it. When you show up, you have two animals or these cryptids to loot and be happy about that. If you first subscribe to Fallout membership, you can farm the workshop area every time you join the private world. But if you first subscribe my channel, just big thank you, amigos. Vamos a matarlos rápido y furioso. This part I want to show you how many mobs you can kill, but keep in mind, with a real blast event you can find more, because they will respawn during the event. Loot papa and get your 20 caps for clearing workshop area and let's move on. Here you can find up to 11 mini hawks, their dogs, not their dogs, and other mobs. One time I killed 3 scorchy bestias and the road got raw minigun, so you have to farm here as well. As I told before, my first idea was to share with you all mini hawk fixed spawns, region by region, but I don't have much to offer for a big chunk of map. From another side, I used to have a camp in front of the workshop for like 400 levels on my first character and I could level him up pretty quick here, because it used to be the hardest place to play, and if you want to level up fast, you gotta place your camp in the most challenging area. As well, you can actually farm a lot of stuff here, and I'm about to show you that. Plus, looting the big guy and scrapping webs and armor I got from him helped me to open all mods and I believe I opened all of them by now. In this area you have a mini hawk prisoner, you can farm as well, and let me show you something buggy. I just shoot at him through the wall, but it just worked one time. Try to repeat at nothing. Anyway, let's make him free. Hello sir, you are free now. Another bug, but okay. Time to loot. You probably know, probably not, but you will. This place has a lot of concrete, screws, springs and other things. Let's have it, because we can. Um, where's the entrance? Ah, here. On this floor you have a lot of concrete and other stuff. Just clean it out completely. Oh, here we go. Pam, pam, pam. Take it, take it all. Everything. Okay. And now upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs, on the roof, and through the elevator shaft, we got downstairs. But with no stairs. Loot everything here as well. Springs, screws, and everything else. Even cork you have here. Found ceramic. Everything. Clothes, wood, aluminium, plastic, circuits. Everything you see. But typewriters and telephones are most important things to loot here. I'm doing as fast as possible, as you see. Almost done. Yay, finished! Back to the previous floor to get concrete I forgot to pick up. And let's get something else. If you like clones, you can have some here in this place. Or just play bowling, your call. Anyway, farm here close. Ooh, this guy from workshop area. Heck, he goes. Okay, oil. Wood from these bowls. 
laser. Oh, uh, let's see here's laser. Yay. It's time to scrap everything. Look at this. If you don't have the first step, I don't think there is a need for a lot of concrete because it is heavy. Just one run and you have it. And a little bit of everything you might find useful. Keep it in mind that. Let's do it. Okay, hoping Sarah's strategy. How long it will take for some sort of OP was only noobish like build because I play on PC. Speed run with all mobs looted. Except for that prisoner, because I don't like to pick locks. On public server, the workshop area will be looted, probably. But it takes like a minute to kill and loot these guys. Depends if your palm is too sweat to move your mouse smoothly. Or your finger just slips off the left button constantly. And it takes time to put it back and press the damn button. As you saw, you can kill like 20 mobs here. Depends who is around and how much you want to die. But more or less you will spend 3 or 4 minutes. So better include this place to your usual farm route per server. And don't forget to clear workshop if you're on your private server. Here I had my camp before I moved north. And I moved only because I wanted a water source inside my bunker. This place is perfect for power leveling. And let me show why. You show up here and already have something exotic to kill and loot. Public groups didn't exist back then, but let's join one for better specials. Fog crawlers have antiseptic and fiber optic on them. Not that common to get, so why not? In general, whenever I head to back to my camp, someone was already here to deliver me some goodies. Let's check this shack. I don't go upstairs, because there is a lot of stairs, I grab this bag of concrete and go here, inside, where I can find a plane or mod I'll be happy to scrap. Yay, a plane! I almost have never got my camp attacked by mobs, though it was basically an address to my bunker and some vendor machines. Anyway, you can place it a little bit away or place a turret I've never had. I visited this place a lot and leveled up crazy fast, from level 100 up to 500 in 2 months or so. Opened all mods and donated 25k of concrete for Brotherhood of Steel return event. Russell Dorsey was happy to see my enclave face all the time. Thank you for watching, consider to make my enclave face happy as well by subscribing. See you later.